Hey guys, today I have some Call of Duty news, and this is to do with Infinity Ward's new Call of Duty title that's coming out this year in November. And that is that gameplay of their new game will be shown at E3 in partnership with PlayStation. So, in a new blog post, Activision has announced that the PlayStation partnership with Call of Duty will be continuing into 2017 with Infinity Ward's new game. Activision has also announced that they will be revealing new gameplay from Infinity Ward's new Call of Duty title at E3 in partnership with PlayStation. Activision's blog, blog post says Infinity Ward's new game is ambitious. Now, a lot of people are speculating that it could be you know, thrust jumps or exosuits, but even worse, you know, so you go higher than that, but I'm honestly not too sure. The company originally announced Infinity Ward as the developer of Call of Duty 2016 in February, stating that their title will be new and innovative. And like I said, I have no clue what it's going to be like. Are they going to mess up Call of Duty? Are they going to do, are they even going to improve it maybe? Because their thrust jumps in Black Ops 3, in my opinion, aren't OP. They're just, they're just about right. They're basically, I think Advanced Warfare should have been like that. Because Advanced Warfare just went over the top, to be honest. Whereas Black Ops 3 kind of brought it down and it's more even and it's more it's more controllable and you don't like you see people use it but it's not to the extreme where it's constant and they they're just having an unfair advantage because they don't go that high in Black Ops 3, which is a good thing. So E3 2016 takes place June the 14th to June the 16th and Sony's press Sony PlayStation's press conference is expected to take place on June the 13th. So it's actually a day before E3. The PlayStation partnership for Call of Duty began with Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Activision and PlayStation announced at E3 2015 that starting with Black Ops 3, Call of Duty DLC map packs will be available first on PlayStation 4. In addition, PlayStation has partnered with Activision to be presenting partner of the Call of Duty World League. And there isn't any new details about uh, Infinity Ward's new game this year but you know we'll just have to wait until E3 and then we'll be able to see what it's like so it's a, it's a nice change I don't think they had Black Ops 3 gameplay at E3 last year I'm honestly not sure I can't quite remember whether they did or not I think they did or it was a bit early because usually it's in August you have to wait until Gamescom in August to actually be able to see gameplay and watch the live stream and all that so Anyway, that's, that's cool, so it's just another few months away and we'll be able to see what it's actually like. So anyway guys, that's basically it. Leave thoughts, opinions down below in the comments. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.